Welcome to Fitzroy Island. So we've got this lovely tropical paradise island in the north of Australia and what a location. I'm going to give you a full ultimate travel guide of what you need to do, but first I'm going to have to take you back a few steps so we can actually get here. Let's go. It's one hell of an early morning, but the first thing you're going to have to do is actually get to Fitzroy Island. And to do that, you need to start your trip in Cairns. And then you've got to go online and book a ticket on the Fitzroy Flyer website. You can try and go in and book in the store, but when I did, they wouldn't sell me a ticket in the store, which is kind of bizarre. I recommend you start your day early, and this is because the sun here gets super hot even this early on. So if you're planning on doing the hike or anything, make sure to get there early so you've got plenty of time in the slightly cooler temperature. So I recommend going from eight till five and that'll give you plenty of time on the island, plus get you there early enough to avoid the hideous midday sun on the walk. Now the ticket cost me $86 for a return. I did also include snorkel hire, which is like another $12 because Fitzroy Island is a great place to do a little bit of snorkeling. So we're gonna head onto the boat now and make our way down. It's a 45 minute journey. Let's get there. Okay, there's only about 10 minutes left to go. Luckily, the sea today is so calm. Just take a look at this. So luckily, no seasick faces on board today, although some people are looking a little bit queasy. Anyway, let's get onto the island. Welcome to Fitzroy Island. Okay, so Fitzroy Island is the type of place that most people just come here for a day trip, which is what I'm doing now. But if you want to stay on the island longer, you can. There are hotels, but a cheaper option, there's an actual campsite here. It's about $37 a night. So if you want to stay a bit longer, maybe look into that as well. Now I'm going to take a little look around the island and show you exactly what there is to do here. Let's go. Okay, so something else you can do while you're here is come to this, which is the Turtle Rehabilitation Centre. Now, you can't actually like go and release turtles into the, back into the sea, but you can come here and just see some of the injured turtles that they're helping nurse back to recovery. And if you want to come, it's about $18, I think, and you have to book in advance before you get here. So if you want to do that, check it out. So one of the most popular things to do here is hike to the lighthouse and then on to the summit of the island because apparently there's some really good views up there. But the trail is quite long. It says a two hour return, but I've known people who've done it and they've said it takes way longer than that. And I've just come around the corner at the start of the trail and it is already extremely steep. Let me just, let me just give you a look. Yeah, there is no way I'm doing this hike. I came here for a relaxing day. But I do have another way of getting the views from the top, which you'll see a little bit later. <laughs> so some of the main reasons you come to the island are for one, beautiful beaches, but also there are some really, really good snorkeling spots here. So I've actually hired some snorkels and fins for the day, so we're gonna head out and hit a few spots and hope and see some turtles and all that kind of stuff. So let's go. Okay, so that's all the snorkel equipment got now. Head down to the beach to do a bit of snorkeling. And one thing to note actually, the beach is this kind of weird mix of sand and coral. And I'll show you that just now. But yeah, unless you're sort of a seasoned barefoot walker, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So just bear that in mind. And now the snorkel spots, this place where you arrive here is called Welcome Bay. Apparently this is a good spot to go out and just snorkel just off the beach. And then if I turn around over here behind me, you can see White Rock, which is apparently where all the resident turtles stick around. So we're gonna hang out there and see if we can see any as well. No GoPro today, just the phone, but hopefully we get some good snaps. And a little fun fact, White Rock is uh, appropriately named because it's a white rock, but it's only white because it's covered in bird poo. <laughs> Let's go see. Okay, so I just come out now from doing a little bit of snorkeling and I saw not one, not two, 
but three sea turtles in there. Absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, my uh, snorkel mask is pretty bad. It's pretty uncomfortable, but I still may do. And I'm pretty sure those shots with the phone were terrible, but there you go. Anyway, like I said before, there is a hike to the top of the island, but I'm having a relaxing day, so I'm not doing it. But I do have another little way of getting to the top. And although I can't bother to do the walk, I think this little guy will be able to make it to the top and we can still get the same views for you that I would have had if I walked up there. Let's go. getting tired just watching that footage <laughs> well done little guy so we're going to head off now to nudie beach on this island which was actually voted the best beach in australia in 2018 so got high expectations for this have a bit of lunch then head there let's go okay quick interruption just to say that i have just seen a reef shark went back in i was quite reluctant to because i'm having so many issues with this snorkel mask but I went in and I saw one. It didn't take my phone to get any videos because the battery is almost dead, but amazing experience. Yeah, just a shame having such a bad experience with this snorkel equipment, but it is what it is. Let's carry on. Let's walk to Nudie Beach is no joke and I'm already exhausted <sighs> well after a walk it was way too long for my tired legs welcome to Nudie Beach <laughs> voted Australia's nicest beach in 2018 and it's a pretty nice beach I'll give them that it's a pretty nice beach the water is unbelievably blue and it's such a calm day today so it's really quite still i'll just show you we can have a look So Nudie Beach, although the name suggests so, is not actually a nudist beach. It's just a beach and it's a full coral beach. So there's no sand here. Watch your feet, it's pretty uncomfortable. But there's not actually as much snorkeling to do here as there is in the other spots. But it's still a place you've definitely got to come and check out whilst you're here because there's a swing here. Get on that, take some awesome pictures for Instagram. And if you're feeling thirsty, there's actually a bar further up on the island. It's where the boat lands, it's called Foxy's Bar. Get down there, get yourself a drink and chill out. One other little thing, you can actually do whale watching here some points throughout the year. I'm not sure when it is, but it's a whale migration point. So the whales actually do come past here. And if you look, you can get on one of the tours and see them doing so. So that's it. You now know everything there is to do here and everything you need to know before you come here. This has been one beautiful island paradise. I have been one exhausted Justin. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay up to date with all of my future content. Go and check out this video I've put just here. I'm sure you'll enjoy that one too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.